Hi, I'm Mark Smith with Family Tree Counseling Associates, and I'm the author of Managing Abandonment Issues Through Recovery. And today, I'm going to be speaking about the subject of abandonment, the King Kong of issues. Abandonment, abandonment is certainly the King Kong of marital issues, because when somebody is under the influence of abandonment, they become very irrational, very reactive. Typically, their spouse have issues around defensiveness. So you have one person reactively driven by irrational jealousies and another person who is really defensive. And uh, it can really, really become ugly, as many of you know. Let me give you some examples, uh, just some real life, everyday examples of how abandonment issues might affect a relationship. Um, <coughs> one would be a husband with abandonment issues uh, doesn't get sex when his neediness uh, demanded it, required it, so he pouts and is, is very sulky for days on end. Uh, another example would be a wife who feels abandoned because her husband is 10 minutes late to an event. So then she just puts on a show and embarrasses him and, and just ruins a family uh, gathering uh, simply because he was 10 minutes late. He might very well have had a good reason for being 10 minutes late. It's really not that big a deal, but to her... Uh, it, there's an overreaction because she felt abandoned. Um, the classic uh, not being able to uh, forgive uh, if, if your wife uh, had an affair. Um, in my book, I discuss a fellow who came to my office many years ago, <clears throat> and he was a burly man, huge hands, uh, in his 60s. And uh, he started to cry, and I offered him some tissues, but he just flicked his tears off. He, he was mad at his tears. He was too manly to cry. Wouldn't take any tissues. So I said, <clears throat> what happened to you? And he said, well, my wife had an affair. So I said, uh, when did you find out? Because I thought maybe it was that week or that day. And it turns out his wife had had an affair 30 years previously, and the fellow she had had the affair with had been dead for 10. So, but this fellow was, was weeping from the core of his soul because he wasn't able to forgive. Not only was, was he wasn't able to forgive, he was tortured. All those 30 years he had been tortured by thoughts of his wife with this other fellow. The truth was, early on in the marriage, this fellow worked 100 hours a week and completely ignored his wife, and his wife was needy, and somebody gave her attention. And um, uh, so that, that's an example of a, of a severe abandonment issue, and people who have really severe abandonment issues when their spouse has an affair, they're just, they're just not the forgive and forget type. They will be tortured until the day that they die. It's very sad. Another example would be <clears throat> a girlfriend who just has a, uh, a texting meltdown uh, when a, a fella goes out with his buddies. Um, he, he maybe has, has never been uh, unfaithful or uh, acted inappropriately in any way, shape, or form, but that doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is uh, she has abandonment issues, and where are you? What are you doing? So you guys are you guys know what I'm talking about, don't you? Technology has made abandonment issues all the worse because you know you can track people where they're at by their phones, and you can check their Facebook, and it makes something crazy all the crazier. Another example would be <clears throat> a wife who verbally abuses her stepchildren. 
because she's profoundly jealous of having to share her husband with his children. When somebody is under the influence of an abandonment issue, which by the way can happen like that, everything can be cool, you could be having a, a nice date, but as soon as that rascal is uh, tr triggered, um, out comes a crazy dance. Um, people, it's like they become instantaneously drunk without consuming any alcohol. Now, <clears throat> if you do consume a lot of alcohol and then you get your abandonment issues triggered, oh my God, that is dangerous and going to get seriously out of control. Uh, so with just the abandonment issues, you can become impaired, reactive, defensive, out of control, very non-objective, very stubborn, and really just impossible to speak to rationally. I coach spouses of people with abandonment issues to not, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe and yell and scream and, you know, get into an ugly, long, drawn-out conflict because it's like arguing with somebody who's drunk. Get away, get some space, which they may not want you to do, but you're going to have to set up some really firm boundaries and wait until they've come to themselves and they're not acting crazy anymore. That's a better time to have a conversation. <coughs> Many times uh, when people come in to see me, uh, I'm doing their family tree, I'm gathering information in the first couple sessions about their families, and I ask them, so how was your childhood? And they say, well, it was peachy. Uh, it was beaver cleaver. Wait till your father gets home. Everything was fine. And I know that's not true because uh, their spouse has abandoned them severely. Here's an immutable law of nature. If your spouse abandons you uh, severely, then you were abandoned as a child, period. So you may not remember it because maybe you built your psychological defenses really strongly by the time you were three years old. Uh, maybe neither parent died, maybe neither parent left the home, but there's a lot of ways to abandon somebody without necessarily uh, them having to die or leave the home. So uh, you don't have to remember uh, severe uh, parental abandonment in order to uh, understand later that it really did impact your life. Little kids are needy, needy, needy little creatures. You know, they desperately need the love and attention of both a father and a mother. And they have a hunger for attention from both parents. And if, if one of your parents or both are, were, you know, depressed or workaholic or alcoholic or just otherwise occupied because of their wounds from their childhood. You might have run the neighborhood with your friends and had a lot of fun and not felt abused, and, but you didn't get what you needed from uh, you know, one or both parents. So unfortunately, how love works is you are going to pick a spouse or a string of boyfriends or girlfriends who abandon you. And of course, the worst possible way that somebody can abandon you in a relationship is to cheat on you. And I've had many couples who grew up uh, severely abandoned and one after another after another of their um, uh, people that they date have turned around and abandoned them. I had a a doctor come to me many years ago and he desperately wanted his own biological children and you would say the word babies and he would start to weep and I said well doc 
Um, you're a pretty good looking fellow. You have an amazingly successful practice. Where's the hot blonde that comes with that deal? And he said, every single woman that I've ever dated has been really mean and really crazy. So I said, well, let's get my family tree out and we'll find out about your parents. Turns out his mother was a psychological terrorist. Just a mean, vicious, backstabbing woman who uh, was hurtful every day of his life. So this fellow, he'd go to a party and let's say he, in this room, this party, there were 99 nice, healthy women. There's no really such room on the planet, but let's just say that. And one mean, vicious, backstabbing, psychological terrorist, he'd take her home. She loved him and he loved her until it blew up in his face. So I said, well, doctor, tell you what, let's find you some younger, uh, moderately psychological terroristic chick and we'll coach her up. We'll get her in therapy and we'll get her healthier and we'll get you some babies. And he said, uh, Mark, it just hurts too much to date women like that. I said, well, you're not going to get no babies. And uh, he still doesn't have any babies because um, he keeps uh, picking uh, women like his mother or he just chooses not to, and that doesn't get him marriage and babies either. So, so <clears throat> in my situation growing up, um, I really don't remember feeling terrifically abandoned by my dad. Um, he he uh, went to Vietnam for a couple of stints. Um, basically, he, he was trying to avoid hanging around the house with my mother because she was controlling and critical. But even when my dad was present, he was watching TV or reading the newspaper. Um, he was just a very wounded fellow from a sort of a Appalachian hillbilly, uh, poverty childhood, um, abandoned by his father, abused by his stepfather. So I was terribly abandoned by my father. But if you'd asked me what the problems were in my childhood... Uh, even till, you know, age 35, I just said, well, my mom was mean and controlling, but I probably wouldn't have mentioned dear old dad because he was a pretty sweet guy. But his not being there for me hardly at all really did create <clears throat> a super needy uh, uh, little kid inside of me that just was sort of hidden behind my psychological defenses and then it came out about age 45 in the form of a relationship addiction that uh, caused my life and the people around me a lot of pain. So the brutal thing about abandonment issues is you will be attracted to somebody who is the disguised, uh, has the disguised worst qualities of your parents, as in any marriage, not just with abandonment issues. Many years ago, <clears throat> I had a woman from Florida call me, and she wanted to do some counseling over the phone. Her husband was having an affair, and um, I did the family tree. She was adopted, as were her two siblings, and none of them were terribly close to the, the adoptive parents. All three of them, their spouses had affairs and left them for the new person. One of them got brave and married again, and the person they married again ran off with their best friend. So four marriages, four very brutal uh, affairs and abandonments. So I told this lady, that's not bad luck. That's not a coincidence. That's a pattern. All three of you were severely abandoned by your parents, and by your adoptive parents. And that's what happened. So, um, well, thank you for watching the video today. I would like to encourage you, if you would like to hear more about uh, abandonment and books that I'll be releasing soon, to join our uh, mailing list. We send out an email mailing list once a week filled with blogs and podcasts and videos, and it's free. You can just go to FamilyTreeCounseling.com 
and get that. Uh, there's, a, there's a box where you can put in your email. Thank you so much. Take care.